Okay, do y'all follow the Bible and your religion? The King James Version, right? So the first thing I want to do is get this. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread. After what? After the days of unleavened bread. Where do you find unleavened bread at, sis? Or Passover? Where do you find that at? Read it again. In Leviticus 23. So now we have to understand what unleavened bread is, which is Passover. So if they was teaching something different, they wouldn't be teaching, because where are you going to the Old Testament? That's right. In Leviticus, right. which is where the law is found. Yeah. They weren't teaching anything different. They right. were teaching God's law. Right. What he says, sis? Hey, bro. About the Catholic religion. Hold on, brother. Let me deal with the sister real quick. Okay? okay. And we're gonna deal with you. We're gonna deal with everybody, all right? Now the Catholic faith. That's what you say you follow, correct? Thank what did you, you learn today? Well, I learned that God is love. And that to respect one another. I learned that God has certain Bring it out. commandments that we have to follow above all other laws. Uh-huh. And I and in my religion I learned how to respect other people and their Okay, do y'all follow the Bible? And your religion? The King James Version, right? So the first thing I want to do is get this. So when did your people, the history of your people, come over here to America and get enslaved? When did they say that happened? Bring it up! My ancestors were already here. Okay, the Nahua. The Nahua. That's the language you speak, Nahua? Navajo. You speak the Navajo? I don't, because okay. again, the colonizers came. The co who came? The colonizers. The colonizers came, right? right. That's right. And they changed it into Spanish, so now you speak Spanish, so you understand that. What else did they change? Did they just, did they just change the language, or did they change the religion as well? Bring it up! Our traditions, religions. Come and we want to show you that. So if you know that, why would you be following Catholic? Bring it up! Because I have certain experiences in this religion that I can't take away. Like, I have certain experiences that I can't take away. So okay. now, I'm not saying that um, everybody who follows my religion should be following my religion. I believe that certain people should be following a uh -huh. I believe not everybody can worship God in the same way. Okay, so watch this. I want to show you some history just for the people that's listening about what that religion did to your people. You have understanding knowing that that religion is wrong and it's blasphemous and it's a lie. I know you understand that because we're going to show you in the Bible, but I want to show them a little bit of history as well because a lot of our brothers come out here and say we was the original people. We was here. We understand that. That's we right. know that we was here. Right. Okay? I want you to read. I want you to start from... Uh, King, right there. The other 1492, Jewish, they say the other 1492 because in 1492, they say this is when, the, who came? Columbus, right? They say this is when he came, right? So before that, this is the other 1492, which was in Spain, okay? This is what she just said her people just came from, right? Read. The other 1492, Jewish settlement in the New World. What is it? Jewish settlement in the new world. Why would they say Jewish settlement in the new world? That's the question that everybody need to be asking, right? Read. By Norman H. Finkelstein, page 46, King Jio II, as head of a Catholic country. Head of a what? Catholic country. This guy's a head of the Catholic country, right? Read. At first, decided to prevent Jews from crossing his border. So he prevented Jews from crossing the border. Who are those Jews today? This is what we are out here to teach our people, everybody out here today, right? Now watch this. Start right here, the king. The king promised to find ships passage for Jews. The king promised to find ships passage for Jews. So the king promised to find ships passage for who? Jews, right? Ships passage. Read. The king promised to find ships passage for Jews going to other countries. Going to other countries. One of those other countries is South America. That's one of those other countries. Bring it out. Read. 
but the number of ships made available for this venture was woefully inadequate. Uh -huh. When the eighth months were up, uh -huh. those Jews who were temporary residents were declared slaves and sold. Did you hear that, sister? Those Jews were declared slaves and sold. Now hold that in Deuteronomy 28. Now let's see if we have the understanding of who those Jews were and who they are today. We're about to show you. Deuteronomy 28. Start with first. Oh, get, go ahead. Well, before I get this, I'm going to let you go ahead and get your question. Okay, so in my understanding, when the Jews crossed Jesus and they um, put him on the cross, it's my understanding that they were, the, that, those are the Jews of current day, the Jews that are currently waiting for Jesus to come, and, and that's the Jews that betrayed him. So the people that continue to follow him, in my understanding, were his, the disciples. He, he led the disciples, and I, I have a hard time putting my English words together, but he led the disciples branch off and teach people about how, he, he told the disciples how to teach people what how he wanted to how he wanted each one of them to teach people how to follow him. And that's why I believe the different religions came. Religions came. So after that, you said different religions came, right? Yes. After Peter, Paul, Luke, and them, right? Yes. All right, get Acts 20. I'm just going to show you this real quick, and then I need you to pay attention so we can explain to you who you are today. Okay? Acts 20 and verse 6. Let's see if these guys was teaching a different religion or teaching something different for people. Read the book of Acts, chapter 20 and verse 6. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread. After what? After the days of unleavened bread. Where do you find unleavened bread at, sis? Or Passover? Where do you find that at? Read it again. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread and came unto them to Troas in five days, where we abode seven days. Go to Leviticus 23. So now we have to understand what unleavened bread is, which is Passover. So if they was teaching something different, they wouldn't be teaching, because where are you going to the Old Testament? That's right. In Leviticus, right. which is where the law is found. Yeah, so they right. wasn't teaching anything different. They right. were teaching God's laws. Right. But Christ is the way. This is what we was actually teaching, okay? Read that. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. Bring it up. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. So now you're looking at Peter and them was going around after Christ told them, once you get the Holy Ghost, what did he tell them to do? Go teach the people, right? So that's what you were speaking about. Yeah. They're teaching them to keep Passover, that's the unleavened right. bread that Moses taught them over 3,000 years ago. Right. Think about that, Wake okay? So Moses told them to do this over 3,000 years ago. Read. Right. Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Be what? Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. And this is why I told you earlier, when you come out here, you got to be amongst brothers. It. You got to keep it a holy convocation. That's what a convocation is. It's a holy assembly, assembly of brothers coming together. Right. So this is what Peter and them was teaching. Right. You see that? So he's teaching them holy convocations. Read. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest uh -huh. and holy convocation. Uh -huh. Ye shall do no work therein. Uh -huh. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In their what? In their seasons. Pay attention. Watch this. In the fourteenth day of the first month, uh -huh. at even is the Lord's Passover. So we're reading about Passover over 3,000 years ago, right? So why are these men talking in 70 AD? They're teaching the people to keep Passover, right? right. Read. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So now we're talking about the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Y'all understand that? Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 